this week's comic book reviews. First up, we've got Batman number 679 by Grant Morrison and Tony Daniel from DC Comics. Uh, in this issue, Batman's alter ego, Batman of Zurnar, uh, shakes down Charlie and heads towards his eventual confrontation with the Joker. Uh, while Alfred is tortured by Dr. Hurt, a man who is parading around as Thomas Wayne. Uh, this was a pretty good book. I love the art and the style of the book, and the deterioration of Bruce Wayne has been really interesting so far. So if you're not reading this run of Batman, rest in peace, you should pick it up. It's really good. Next up, we've got Welcome to Hawksburg, number one. This is by Ben Tupplesmith, and it's from IDW. Uh, in this story, a group of murderers, rapists, and child uh, molesters are transferred to a new institution to help them deal with their problems, Hawksburg. And uh, at this place, everything's run under a presidential decree called Clear on Crime Act, which basically treats the prisoners like pieces of meat. Literally. Um, I really love the turn in this book. It is really awesome. I think Ben Tepples is sort of a genius, so if you like his work, pick it up and you won't be disappointed. Next up, we've got Mercy Sparks, number zero. This is by Josh Blaylock and Matt Murhoff, and it's from Devil's Due Publishing. Uh, this book uh, has Mercy, who's a devilish demon from another world, uh, and she's sort of tapped by a higher power to become an angel hunter on Earth and is transformed into a new form that's kind of shocking to her. I thought this was a really uh, good intro to a story. The art's only okay for me, but the humor of it uh, was really good, and I'm interested to see where it's going to go. So uh, pick up this number zero if you can. Uh, it's going to be a really good series. And last but not least, we've got Daredevil Saga. This is a preview uh, that's sort of like a run-up to Daredevil number 111, uh, which is going to introduce Lady Bullseye and is a good jumping-on point for people who haven't been reading Daredevil to this point. So if you can pick up this free preview, it's really good to give you an idea of who Daredevil is and what's happened recently up to this point that's going to lead into issue number 111. So pick it up. Hey folks, Jim here with this week's comic book reviews. It's IDW week as I have three IDW books to review. Let's start off with Blood Plus Volume 3 from Dark Horse though. In this volume, Saya's past is revealed and we learn of her origins and of her evil sister, Diva. Um, another really good Blood Plus uh, volume. I'm really enjoying this series. If you haven't seen the anime, this is a perfect uh, complement to it. Uh, so pick it up. Next up, Yen Plus Volume 2. Uh, this one, as with last week's Yen Plus Volume 1, uh, features 11 manga chapters including Night School, Soul Leader, Maximum Ride, Jack Frost, Bamboo Blade, and more. Um, I'm really enjoying the uh, Yen Plus series as, uh, as it is so far, and Night School, Soul Eater, Jack Frost, and Maximum Ride are my favorite series out of the entire thing. Um, so if you're a manga fan, this is a must. Next up, Transformers Animated Number 1. Uh, in this uh, issue, it retells the first few episodes from the perspective of several of its characters. Um, I really like the originalness of this uh, actual little mini-series, and it's actually written by the show's writers, so it's quite good. Uh, if you're a Transformers Animated fan, this is the perfect pick for you. Next up, Angel After the Fall Number 11. It's Gunn versus Angel in a fight to the death, and Gunn learns Angel's secret in the process. Um, I'm actually starting to really enjoy where Angel is going. I'm still kind of meh on the art, but the story is getting better and better as the series goes on. So if you're an Angel fan, pick it up. And last but not least, Transformers Reign of Starscream number four. In this issue, Starscream's plans come to fruition, and the Autobots may be too late to stop him. Um, another really good issue by Chris Mallory and uh, Alex Milne. Um, art's really good. Story's getting better as it goes along, so I'm really looking forward to the finale next month. 